the next number of brevis lattices look here we go for the study of the crystalline solids with the help of the crystal lattice and the unit cells these are the basic requirements for the crystalline solids where we say a lattice is three dimensional pattern of the points showing how the particles are arranged in the crystalline solid and these points if are to be studied individually it becomes a difficult task to complete the entire study of the crystalline solid thereby we pick up the smallest and the repeating unit that we see in the lattice this unit is supposed to possess all the features of the lattice that is why the study of the crystalline solid and its crystal lattice is made with the unit cell there are seven basic unit cells we observe and these seven basic unit cells are number 1 monoclinic number 2 triclinic number 3 tetragonal number 4 hexagonal and number 5 orthorhombic number 6 rhombohedral and number 7 cubic seven unit cells seven unit cells provide us the seven lattices look any crystalline substance we get whether it is a laboratory prepared sample or naturally occurring material its lattice should match with one of these seven lattices built up from the seven unit cells therefore they are supposed to be taken as the standard lattices and these standard lattices are called as seven crystal systems and these seven crystal systems are further subdivided subdivided into the space of lattices for example the cubic unit cell the cubic unit cell it has four types like simple cubic body centered cubic face centered cubic and edge centered cubic it has four sub types of the unit cells but in some others we have one or two or even three therefore totally out of the seven crystal systems we get the 14 space lattices and these 14 space lattices are called as the brevis lattices now the question it becomes so simple that the number of brevis lattices are 7 10 14 21 immediately we put the option with respect to c reading 14 because there are the 14 brevis lattices built up from seven crystal systems in the next question we we observe the way in which these particles are arranged what are the number of particles which are in contact with a given particle look anyway it is the packed substance packed material the particles are closely held if we take the systematic arrangement of the particles we find 
these particles in the form of layers and layers are placed one above another to produce the three dimensional crystalline solid in that if we pick up one particular layer the layer which we place horizontally can appear this way and there we are one particular particle at the center it is having the nearest neighbors six in number and this six becomes the coordination number and about the coordination number remember one thing totally it carries the different statements or different considerations in coordination compounds and in crystalline solids where in the complexes or the coordination compounds we attribute this coordination number to the number of coordinate bonds in the crystalline solids we go for the number of nearest neighbors the number of nearest neighbors are six here and coordination number is six and this is controlled by the value what we call as the radius ratio it is simply the ratio of the radius of cation to the radius of anion as this value increases the coordination number increases now look with the radius ratio value between 0.155 to 0.225 we have the coordination number 3 and 0.225 to 0.414 gives the coordination number 4 and 0.414 to 0.732 the coordination number has to be 6 and from 732 onwards almost nearer to the value 1 the coordination number will be 8 and these are the four ranges with which we have to be quite familiar 0.1155 to 0.225 number 3 0.225 to 0.414 number 4 0.414 to 0.736 number 6 and 0.732 onwards it is the coordination number 8 and therefore the things become as easy as we can hope for the radius ratio 0.24 0.36 0.51 0.93 there we have to select the coordination number 6 naturally the selection falls upon the option number or option c that is 0.51 so please make a note of it like what are the basic needs we do have in the study of the crystalline solids that is their compact arrangement and their melting points and their physical properties like anisotropic nature systematic arrangement and the coordination number of each of these particles in the crystalline solid and we will be going for some more questions where we explore some of the other features of the crystalline solids so friends we pick up with one more question the crystal system of a compound with the unit cell dimensions make a note a equal to 0.39 b equal to 0.39 c equal to 0.65 given in the nanometers and the angles alpha beta and gamma equal to 90 degree is so first of all what is meant by a what is meant by b and what is meant by c about the unit cells the dimensions for the unit cell we can see here it carries the length it carries the breadth it carries the height length is given with a breadth is given with b and height is given with c and the angles 
we call them as edge angles alpha beta and gamma alpha is the angle which is seen between the breadth and height and beta is the angle which is seen between height and length and gamma is the angle which is seen between length and breadth with the help of these edges and the edge angle those seven basic unit cells are developed like the monoclinic triclinic tetragonal hexagonal orthorhombic rhombohedral and cubic like that so here we elucidate the unit cell and its the crystal system this way